hi everyone welcome to coding simplified and today's we have very important topic which is hiring manager round process and its preparation so in the technical interview hiring manager round is very important round and generally uh, hiring manager takes the interview either at the starting or generally uh, after the three or four round has done so we'll see all about it like uh, like how we should prepare this and what's the mindset of a manager and then what generally uh, what generally in a hiring manager round asked so that we can prepare according to that right so first of all let's understand the uh, the region of the hiring manager round that why it happens basically right so if you see like let's say if i am the hiring manager it means uh, i i have the openings in my team and that's why i'm taking the uh, I, I that's why i'm taking the hiring interviews right so it means i am the hiring manager now if i if i'm selecting a person so basically i would check that okay whether whether the person overall fits into the team or not right so it means when a person see whether he will fit whether he or she will uh, fit or not right uh, so in this case generally what we see because we take four or five interviews right first we uh, first a candidate goes through the coding round then a candidate goes through let's say low level design round then system design round and then it comes the hiring manager round so hiring manager round so hiring manager takes the situation of the previous round generally like if the candidate is good that's how you know like we reaches to hiring manager round so in most of the cases like in 95% case hiring manager round happens after your coding rounds and your system design round or your design rounds are completed and then it comes to the hiring manager round so that hiring manager basically have all the feedback of the previous round that how was the feedback of the coding round how was the feedback of the low level design round how is the feedback of the system design round and once the candidate is looking uh, like good or like let's say you know like uh, uh, it's a good candidate then it goes to the hiring manager round then hiring manager round evaluate that okay like these are the feedback and then according to them then it takes the interviews right so generally what happens like uh, uh, based on the previous feedback as well hiring manager can ask the certain questions right let's say that's why so basically i'm starting from here any feedback from the previous round so let's say if if your coding round has done and let's say your two coding rounds have been done and now uh, there was a feedback that candidate is good but you know like we can focus more on coding so in this case then hiring manager round then hiring manager can take some of the coding questions as well right or let's say if there is a point that candidate is you can rate like focus on the system design like generally we take the when we take the interview we put in point that okay i, I have like i have covered the coding uh, and even if i have covered the system design i can put okay please focus more on system design because i think uh, the candidate is not up to the level in the system design but uh, he's doing he was doing uh, well so in this case uh, then hiring then hiring manager basically then manager can focus on the your system design topics as well so that also can happen right so it means any feedback from the other rounds that basically take care and then a hiring manager focus on that part now apart than this this you see this is a very important part which is a behavioral questions so it means like let's say you may be good at coding you may be good at uh, like at the system design but hiring manager also see that whether you are good at how your attitude is towards any problem right so that's where this behavioral questions are uh, really help to know about the candidate overall uh, attitude uh, that whether he will be fit in team or not because nowadays team culture is again a very important part and whether you will be a good fit to your team uh, will be a great thing because the point is you know like let's say there are 10 member people and if you are a good candidate if you gel up with well uh, with other members then definitely you will be a great great member as a team but let's say on the other side if you are not at good if your attitude is not good you are basically destroying the team culture then you are not good right so you may be good at coding but you are not for fit for the team so that's where hiring manager also focus on this behavioral questions a lot so that's where like uh, like we have already covered the behavioral uh, behavioral questions uh, topic already so basically these are the some of the questions they ask in the behavioral questions like uh, why you want to join us or like uh, because this again tells you that why you want to join us like uh, have you done something bad in the previous organization or what 
so that's something like generally ask then what are the most challenging tasks for the project done so far uh, where do you see yourself in five year did you ever have confrontation with your manager or your colleague or lead so that tells you that what's your attitude or like if you have such kind of problem how do you deal this right similarly was there a time of disagreement when you were right or was there a time of disagreement when you were wrong similarly did you have or did you ever have to deliver on tight dem- deadline and how you handled that so that tells you that let's say you know unfortunately like generally we uh, like we have times you know like uh, fixed time and we work from another time but sometime you know like situation can be uh, very tight deadlines let's say we have there is a bug and we have to solve this so definitely you know even there is a tight deadline we had to handle some time so that's where they ask this question so that w- they want to know your attitude similarly like how do you train your juniors like how do you treat them right so that's again a thing then uh, reasoning for all the job switches so that tells them that okay whether the all the regions were you know uh, like uh, really there or like uh, what was the region actually so they want to know uh, your mindset that what was the region of the changing now mm, apart then work any other contribution to team so basically it tells again that were you also active uh, with the other things as well right so these are the some of the uh, important you know like behavioral questions that uh, ask so it tells you you see that they are not related to coding or any other thing they are just focused on that how your behavior is so that's where like in hiring manager round a uh, hiring manager can ask these types of questions so first part is behavioral questions so be ready in the hiring manager round for all these questions now hiring manager can also ask about the last project so uh, in our previous video we also we also covered that to uh, if you want to explain about the last project so how would you say right so like what like generally they ask last project so that they want to know that okay uh, whether whether you have actually worked or not or whether you have you know simply uh, wasted your time in your last project so because if you are explaining your last project like in detail so it means uh, they understand okay you have done very good work so that uh, the expectation is that even in future you will be a good candidate right so that's where uh, like uh, if you want to know that how we should answer the last project done uh, question so please uh, please uh, please see the our last video and there you would see all the details that how we can answer that what was done in your last project so in that basically uh, what you have to do uh, just in a brief that you have to basically tell us what's the architecture of the project what was your contribution they can ask that and like they like explain all about the scaling in the project that what did you do or like how you how your system was scaled scalable similarly also be ready that what complex problem you have solved in that project so that uh, they would basically so hiring manager wants to know that with like what complex problem you have done right so they want to know that okay how skilled you are or like how how you the experiences right so that will uh, tell us the things and again like how can you improve your the current project or like uh, so that's again tell you know what's that again tell you thinking process that whether you are confined with the requirement or even you can think beyond that so that's again uh, like this is very important question so always be ready always be ready whenever it comes to your uh, when whenever it comes uh, that please explain your last project right so generally in hiring manager round yes they would ask about the last project so yes see see the uh, video of this one uh, about the last project similarly for the behavioral question as well uh, i have created one video so you can you can go in the technical uh, technical series technical into playlist and there you you will find the behavioral questions uh, it video as well now so if you see like hiring manager round takes around 1 hour so in 1 hour they would focus on the behavioral questions they would focus on the last project then uh they can also focus on the system design as well so because let's say if you are if you are of level beyond 5 or 6 years then they can ask about the system design question as well or if you are like less than 4 years or 3 4 3 or 4 years experience you have then they can ask on the coding uh, as well right so and again in the system design guys like we have covered a lot of uh, good videos in that one so i we have covered one video in the system design preparation that how we should prepare the system design So again we have one video for that one so again please see uh, that system design intro preparation video or like how to uh, like things to take care while solving a system design question so uh, that video will help you overall i what 
I want to go again, uh, again, all the things. But yeah, like you have to see what is the requirement, what's the system workflow, what's the logic to solve the problem. Like, is there any API that you have to create there? What will be database design? Then scaling aspect, performance aspect for that, security, automation, machine learning, AI, if you can implement there. So yeah, like these are the some of the things that you can tell while whenever you are solving a system design question, right? So it means if you see in the hiring manager around that these are the some of the important parts that is happens. Behavioral question about your last project, about the system design and any feedback from the previous round, right? So generally hiring manager focus on this four aspect. And again, uh, and again, you know, this is not a limited list like manager can ask any questions you know that he sees that okay that is uh, you know he should ask or that will help to know the candidate because he's a manager so he wants to know he wants to know about the candidate whether the candidate will be suitable for his team or not right and that's where like manager can ask whatever it it helps him to uh, know the candidate right so if you see that overall all these three important points behavioral questions or about the last project of system design so basically we have covered these so basically you can go and you can see uh, this like if you see uh, here we have done uh, here we have done that like ex explaining the last project done and its preparation so here you can see that how would you explain about your project similarly if you want to explain about the behavioral questions see this video how to answer behavioral question asked in the technical interviews right so it will basically help you to answer the behavioral questions and if you want to tell about the system design so that how you can go in this video how to prepare for system design interviews and or you can even uh, you can even go in this video as well things to consider while solving system design question in interview so these three video will help you so i'm gonna put the, these links in the description so that you can see and you can uh, you can know about uh, these topics so uh, that's all about this video about the hiring manager round process and its preparation so in case you have any doubts or questions please uh, let us know in the comment section and i will try to answer that and guys if you have liked the video then please like it and please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you